Hey, it's Sarah. I'm here to share another junk journal with you guys. I used Marion Smith's uh, Motley paper collection. And well, first off, here's the here's the journal I made, and I will show you the papers that I used. So I'm just gonna flip through these. Okay, so there's the papers. Let's take a look at this. I'm pretty sure this is five and a half by seven and a half. Uh, I use cereal box, or not a cereal box, I use a noodle box for the covers and the spine. And all I did was I took this script paper, I ripped it up, I layered it on the outside of the covers, and then I took a 12 by 12 piece of paper and I just ripped along each of the ed long edges and I put that down the middle of the cover. And then I took this lace and put it in the middle and then I ran this these fibers through the middle of that and then I laid this pink on top of that. And then where I sewed the signatures in, I just tied this into a knot or a knot. I tied this into a bow and because I'm not sure if I'm gonna hang any charms from it or not. Probably not, but I wasn't positive, so that's what I did with that. And I got a glue string. So then here I put a metal filigree and I layered uh, some eyelash trim underneath it. And then I had, I got these little doilies, they're flower doilies, at Michael's the other day. They're in the dollar fifty bin. And they thought they were super cute, and when I got home, I was like, I need to use one of those. So, it just added, uh, it made the whole look look a lot different, so I'm glad I did. And then I put a bride in the middle of that. And then I just did the same thing on the back. This one's a little smaller because the package only come with one big one and one small one, but I think it turned out cute. So let's open it up. When you first open it up, inside here on the front inside cover, I put some lace the whole way around. And then I used the packaging from my, uh, those little jelly, jelly bean uh, flashcards I've been showing. I have the definition on them. I used that packaging. And what I did is I just took the package and I glued it onto some Velium. And so then I made a pocket in the back so it's not just glued right onto the cover. And then all I did was cut a slit in the top big enough for me to... If I can show you now, see how that is. And then I have little mini file folders inside there, kind of like a little file. And I just uh, stamped one sparkle on there, and then I left the rest blank for whoever wants would want to write whatever needs to be written in there. And then I had this little pen in my stash, so I was like. Oh, that's really cute. I should add that to it. So that's what I did. I added that to it. And then I just made this little ruffle trim out of uh, that. Oh, I can't think of what it is. 
of course, right? Uh, there's what you do streamers out of at, at the party store. Uh, oh, for goodness sakes. Well, if I remember, I'll put it in the comments below. But uh, I used that and then I layered the seam binding over top of it and tied it into a bow. And then I, uh, in the beginning, <laughs> let me see. I tucked this little piece of paper behind there, and you can journal on that, and then you could actually journal on top of that, that's light enough, and then that just gets tucked back behind. So then I used three paper bags in this, and then I added two signatures, as you can tell, it's quite chunky. Uh, all the edges I used my pinking shears on it on the edges and I, I don't know I just thought it would add uh, add something different to it I used it for all for all the pages uh, well at least all the coffee coffee dye pages I used it on so let me tell you a little bit about this then uh, I have a file, mini file folder here and I just clipped it on that paper clip there and you open it up. I didn't put anything in it. Uh, I inked up everything with, uh, just got it. It is Ground Espresso Distress Ink. I really like this. Uh, it's, I didn't know if I was going to like it or not because I already have the walnut. And, but yeah, it still leaves a different uh, look than the walnut, so I really do like it. Uh, I added this trim, and I added uh, velvet trim through the middle, and then I took uh, Hobby Lobby uh, sells this ribbon, and it's 99 cents, and sometimes you can find it on sale for 49 cents. Anywho, I took the top and the bottom off of this, which I could show you, and it leaves, it looks like a little flower. So I took that and I inked it up and then I put a little eyelash trim on top of that and I put a little applique that I had and I punched out a circle from the paper collection and put it in the middle of that. And then I used a piece of the paper as a pocket and I had these little little cutouts from the paper. And then this flips open if you have your file folder the right way. So this flips open and you can journal on here. You can journal up on top of here. And then you have the pretty paper to look at. And then each one has a pull-out tag at the top. The tags are made out of lightweight chipboard. And I just added one of these little sacks that have a little insert in them. And that says making memories. And then inside it has the definition of hope. To cherish a desire with anticipation. And that just gets tucked in there. And I left these pockets open, that way if you want to add like photos behind it or a large note behind it, you have the room to do so. And then the tag says love, a feeling of strong or constant affection for a person. I stamped that on there and I just put this uh, die cut on there. And you flip it over, and this you can journal on here. I did the same here. I added a little filigree, and I added I punched out little flowers from the paper collection with a flower punch, and glued it on there. And then I add some of this ribbon that I had. And then you flip it open. I add a little cutout here, and I added these cutout pieces behind it. And then there's a pocket here, and then the paper 
that's on the pocket is another tuck spot too. So plenty of tuck tuck spots and places to put things. Uh, this coffee dyed paper with a little bit of trim. Made a pocket, added some washi tape that flips open. Stamp some hearts on it. I have a dually. This is coffee dyed cardstock. Made a belly band. Added a explosion note. And you flip it over, and I made a little pocket out of the paper, and I added a tag. I just recently got these tags at Michael's too. Uh, you got, I think you got 25 of them for two dollars, and they're just lined in whatever color that you like. Uh, I got the dark pink, and these, this is just a stamp of a flower, little flower. And that just gets tucked back in there. Coffee dyed paper, little trim. Then this is a glassine bag, it's coffee dyed. Put a little bit of lace trim with the bling in it, on it. And another uh, index card, I just uh, stamp notes on it. And that goes inside there. On the other side, I just tore out this uh, old typewriter from the paper and I added this little tag with seam binding and a heart stamp on there. And added some of this trim. All the stamps are stamped with Versafine. That was my sepia. This is Versafine uh, Onyx Black. That's what they're all stamped with. Uh, I find it it's so much easier for me to use that. I'll use Distress Ink here and there, but for the most part, I, I like to use that. Uh, there's the butterfly on that that tag, and this is another tag from Michaels. The solid color one. I ripped this out of the paper collection. I wasn't sure when I first ripped these out, I was going to put these on the front cover. But I changed my mind, so I just put them inside. Here's a here's a treat bag, and I just layered some washi tape, and I cut this out with a scallop punch out of the paper. This is just a piece of the paper from the paper collection, and added some more washi tape. Then I added this paper clip, added some of these little tags to it. This is an 8x8 eight eight coffee dyed paper, and I just folded it up to make little tuck spots. And this paper clip is holding just a little piece of paper from the paper collection. You can journal on top of that. And I added a couple more of the cutouts. And then this is the other side of that treat bag. I made a little pocket. And butterfly stamp on this tag. This little mi mini uh, uh, tag that goes in the little mini library pocket. And it says, a feeling of strong or constant affection for a person. That's a low de definition. And then you flip it over. I made a little belly band. And it holds this little oval tag. And it has butterfly stamp on it and this is just a little piece of the paper coffee dyed paper a little bit of trim and I just put eyelash trim and punched out a hole a hole punched out a circle from the paper collection oh my then this is the other side of that glassine bag I added a file folder and stamped Cherish on it, and the ribbon. Uh, I already glued that down, so then I just made a belly band out of a piece of the paper from the paper collection, and I, I, I just tied that off on a bow. 
And then you flip it over and this is just plain. I have a little bit of washi tape. Copy dye paper with trim. This is volume and it already it comes with that hole on it when you buy it in the package. I just left it on there. Add a little bit of this velvet trim to it. Dually. Flip this up and journal under there. Added one of these deco tags. I stamped notes on it. Add some of this rose trim. That's all open. Journal on there. Then this is the second uh, paper bag. And I add a little mini file folder. It says happiness. And there's nothing in it. And I add this tag from the paper collection. Made that belly band there. And I just did the same thing. I added some of that uh, eyelash trim. And then I just cut that out from the paper using the scalp punch. And I use this little cutout as a stopper for my belly band. And then uh, you can journal here. And get my tag here. This is left open. You can tuck something underneath there. And I left the Motley from the paper collection on there. thought that was pretty neat. And then this is this tag. This one's yellow. I'm starting to run out of paper. <laughs> uh, well, I had all the other paper, but when I have a paper collection, I try to use, I try to make two to three things out of one, uh, one paper collection. So, well, it's depending on the size of it, but. So then this one says a great day and it has thankful with the definition expressing gratitude for someone or something well pleased. That tucks in there and I left that open again as well. And then this is little crochet flowers I had in my stash and I added uh, a smaller bread like the one on the front covers to that. And I think that turned out really cute. And then you flip it over, it has another pocket and this one says dream and strongly desire goal or purpose. And as you can tell, I need to work on that. I thought it was good enough to see, but yeah, no. So I added a bigger library pocket. I added one of these little small uh, inserts to a small library pocket. It says adorable on it. Stamped that. Made that a little belly band. Stamped the butterfly. Added these tags that have stamped butterflies on them. And these are all coffee dyed, uh, except for the little tag. And that tucks in there. And then this opens up here. And this folds down. You, this little tuck spot here. You can journal on there if you had a white pen. You can flip that up. And that's another tuck spot there. So, I thought that was cute there. Always trying to add a little interest every, anywhere I can. So then on this, this is just uh, copy dye paper. I just put some of that rose trim and you can flip that up and there's a pocket here that holds this little deco tag with some of the stamp butterfly on it. If it wants to go back in there. And then there's the other side of the dolly. And I made a tuck spot. This is a dolly punch or die cut that I have. And I think it's dynamics. And there's a smaller, a little smaller one. Not sure. Yeah, this is a smaller one. Smaller version of it. And then I just punched the scallop 
uh, two inch punch and I put some of the eyelash trim underneath it and that's just washi tape and then that has goes on the other side there so you could tuck one underneath there too and some of the trim here and this is the other side of or this is the start of a six by nine envelope and I made a little, I glued on this paper onto the flap of the envelope. And then I made a little tuck spot here. And I added this little mini library pocket. I stamped a little corner stamp and stamped love on it. And I inked it up. And then you flip it over and I ended up putting the paper on backwards like that's my M.O., I guess. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know if that's what you say, M.O. <laughs> there is coffee-dyed paper, explosion note, and that's tucked inside there. And where did my tag go? This is a tuck spot there, too. And then you just close that up, and on the other side... There's a tuck spot here, add a little paper, piece of the paper, uh, cut out from the paper collection. I knew I could get it right. <laughs> and then some tags that are stamped with the hearts on them. And I fussy cut that out of the, the paper and just put it on there so I can make that little tuck spot. Then on this is a treat bag and I just added this little pocket and I added one of those little jelly bean uh, flashcards to smooch. And this is part of the paper collection. I just ripped that out and made a pocket tuck spot out of it. Out of this little coin envelope, it says be merry. And then on the other side, I made a little belly band, and it's holding a piece of the cutout from the paper collection, and this is stamped wonderful, and it's a little, little envelope. And then this is copy dye paper with ribbon on that. On the other side, it's hole punch. And I punched that out of the paper and then added some of that eyelash trim, more coffee dyed tags with a butterfly stamp and a flower stamp. And it's just held together with a gold brad. And I had one of these Jelly Bean repair tags and I inked that all up coffee dyed paper with trim and this is the other side of that treat bag I just added this piece of the paper to it to extend it to make it look bigger it was quite small I it only I mean it ended like right here so that added more room for you to journal a little note on there I this little applique and added these Little Jelly Bean flashcards. One says Love Notes, the other one says Heartbreaker. And I whew, added these paper collect or paper collection. Goodness. <laughs> added these paper cutouts. And from the paper collection, they just go in there. And then on the other side, add another one of these tags. Stamped a flower punch on there. <laughs> I stamped a flower. I'm so sorry. I stamped a flower on there. Oh. Oh my. It's early in the morning. Uh, and then this says, A woman's mind is cleaner than a man's. She changes it more often. Oliver Herford? That's so cute. Uh, 
And then I added some of this trim on the coffee dyed paper. When you flip it over, here's another piece that cut out from the paper collection and just ripped it out of the paper. I added these tags that have the flower stamp on those. Other side of the dually. And flip that up. And another pocket. And that says love on it. It's stamped on there. That just slides in there. Isn't that coffee dyed paper? Oh, I just love that. You flip it over and you have some more trim here. And then this is the last paper bag. I made a belly band, added another one of these tags, stamped a butterfly on it, and then I cut along the belly band with the pinking shears again. And I made another, I layered this piece of paper on here, made a little pocket, and I added these little tags in there. These are supposed to look like those papers you have in a roll up, Rolodex. And then add that little ticket on the top that says friends. And that just gets tucked in there. And then the top tag is like the first one with the red paper or the reddish paper. And it's stamped joy, a feeling of great happiness. And the definition of courage, mental or moral strength to preserve fear. And that gets tucked in there. And uh, added another one of those dualies. And added another bride in the middle there. Added another one of those die cuts. And says happy with the definition feeling pleasure joy because of your life or situation and that could have been stamped a little bit better with it yeah now so then you flip this open and you can journal here add a little tuck spot here with paper collection and i left this side open a little bit so you can Tuck something larger in there if you wanted to. And you flip it over and flip this out. You have a little tuck spot here. And you have a tuck spot here. And tuck spot there. It's holding both of those. And on the back here, I used a Lala die. And thought that was super cute the banner with the hearts and then I made another pocket using the volume and I used that streamer stuff uh, I think it's crepe paper I think maybe maybe not I I'm I, maybe it is <laughs> oh bear with me today I don't know what is wrong with me <laughs> So anywho, I made a little uh, bow out of the seam binding as well, and I added some of this lace trim, has bling in it, and then I added two of these index cards that one has stamped notes on it with a little dually, and the other one has date on it already, and I stamped a heart, and I added these little tabs they're from tim holtz uh tiny tabs and tab tabs i think that's what it is and then out of that little tag inside this little uh treat bag that i found at michael's too uh they come in all different colors this is the color i picked uh they come in pink i'm pretty sure they had a green purple uh blue and I'm pretty sure all the colors had a dark and a light but I'm not positive but I'm pretty sure they did and then I added this little tag here it says love stamped it with love and and these are little treat bags and they have a little flap on them I just thought they were so adorable I thought they were so cute so 
I got me a pack of them. Only one pack. I went there for Mother's Day. So that's what I did for Mother's Day. My son went with me. We he just loves to go to the craft craft stores with his mama. Uh, that's one of his favorite things to do. <laughs> But it was mommy's day, so he had no choice. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, this is my latest journal. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, and I uh, will see you when I see ya. Later.